Hi everyone. So now we go to chapter 7. So chapter 7.A, bonds. So what is bond? A bond is a debt security. So this is similar to loan, but the, uh, there is one difference. A loan is bilateral. So for example, the I can lend you a loan. Then Actually, even if the, I need money uh, before maturity, that I cannot get any money from anyone. The bond is different because a bond is transferable in financial market. So suppose that you issue a bond and I buy it. So basically, this is the same as you borrow money and I lend money. But if I need some money, then I can sell that bond to another investor to get some money immediately. So in this sense, the bond is more uh, convenient the, to trade the asset at any time. So the one important concept for bond is if the cash inflow is fixed, for example, the amount the paid at maturity is fixed, then a higher price or a higher present value, we can say, implies a lower yield or interest rate. So one example. So think about two situations. The first situation at time zero, the price of the bond is $95. For bond buyer, this is cash outflow. And this bond matures in one year and at $100. So in this case, what's the interest rate or yield rate? So yield rate is basically 100 over 95 minus 1 because $95 becomes $100 and we subtract principal. So this is 0 0.0526. So this is 5.26%. Okay. So, okay, so think about another case that price is 90 at time zero. In this case, the yield rate is 100 over 90 minus 1. So this is 0 0.111. So this is 11.1%. Okay. So actually, the yield rate is higher. So price is lower. So 90 is lower than 95. And yield rate is higher. So this is can be understood in this way. So suppose um, you have yield rate of eleven point one percent. Okay. Then at some some day on some day that it just dropped to five point two six percent. If you haven't bought bonds. Maybe you regret that you didn't buy the bond because the rate goes down. So that means that if you bought the bond the before beforehand, then the, you you are happy and you will get benefit. So that is reflected by the fact that the price increases from ninety to ninety five. Okay. So price is higher, yield rate is lower. If $90 becomes $95, that is successful in investment. And you can interpret as this as a um, different way. So yield rate dropped. Then if you invested beforehand, then that was the right inv investment. So um, you can see why um, higher price means lower yield rate. Okay, so objectives of this chapter. So first, get used to 
bond terminologies. So this is most important. And second point, the determined yield given cash flow. And the third one, determine the present value given the yield rate. But actually, the last two are very similar to earlier chapters. Chapter 3, 4, and 6. So we do similar thing to um, annuity, perpetuity, and also amortization schedule. But these are technically very similar to earlier chapters, so get used to bond terminologies are the main goal of this chapter. Okay, see you then.